It lay like a stone, unturned for 69 years. A historical treasure of personal social value. A code to hope. Preserved in a worn tin box, read as the world's flush of shame from the World War II period, and found in Tel Aviv in February 2012. What did the treasure consist of? Chilling letters and photographs linked to hope, the foundation of our existence. For a person without hope is likened to the dead. The person who found this treasure is an author and artistic creator who has been consciously promoting hope for over a decade. He is Ofer, named for his aunt, Ofra, or Serenka in Polish, which means young deer. The same Sarenka who wrote to Ofra's mother, her sister, and whose image is captured on a rare and unique photograph, a renowned symbol of Holocaust heritage, the memorial sculpture in Warsaw by Nathan Rappaport, carved into the very stone that Adolf Hitler planned to use for his own victory commemorative. In front, Mordecai Anilevitz. Behind him, a woman looking at the infant she holds. Is this none other than Serenka, my aunt, after who I am named? Was she the sculptor's inspiration? Together with Mordecai Anilevitz, commander of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, the letters and photos brought to light how the group was actually focused around the young woman, Serenka, the real spirit behind the uprising. Her letters reveal that she gave birth to a daughter, Maya, who was handed over to the care of others and still has not been found. What I know about Maya is that she was born on 22 February 1941 in Vilna to Moshe Kopito and to Rachel Serenka Zilberberg. In January 1942, Serenka decided to destroy Maya ולחזור לגטו הנצור לשתי מטרות. האחת, לספר על הרצח השיטתי של הנאצים, והשנייה, לעורר את המרד. היא מסרה את ביתה מאיה לרופאה קומוניסטית בבית יתומים בווילנה, תחת השם ידביגה סוגק, ומאז נעלמו עקבותיה של מאיה בת המורדים. פליז. Share this video. Maybe together we can find Maya.